All right, it's Mr. Rops. And Mr. Coat. And we are going to look for the pattern with dots today. And so uh, we're not going to talk about communication so much, but we're more looking about how to find the pattern. And we'll say that this is F being the figure. So this is F equal to 1, 2, and 3. And so we need F and we need the dots. In figure okay. 1, how many dots? So two dots. Figure 2. You've got six dots. Figure 3. 12. So if I had four, one, two, okay. three, four, one, so two, let's three, extend four. Let's extend our pattern. All right. One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four. If I had that, this okay. is now four by five. So we've got 20 dots there. 20 dots. Okay. And so now if we go and we look at our first differences, like we did with before, that's four. Yeah, they're different. Oh, that's six. They're not the same. But what I can notice, if I go one more difference to what we call second difference, this is 2, this is 8, or 2 okay. as well, go to 6 to plus yep. 2 is 8. So this second difference, the second difference means that it's not going to be a linear situation like the last ones were, but it's going to be like a f squared type situation, some kind of f squared. Yeah, so the, if the first difference is linear, if the first difference is the same, it's linear. If the second difference is the same, it's going to be quadratic, and so it's going to have an f squared somewhere. Okay, so let's make a, a new table now. All right, here's f, and we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, and let's also get f squared, since we know it's going to be an f squared situation. If I square 1... 1, 4, 9, 16. All right, and I know I have over here, I have my dots, which is 2, 6... 12 and 20. And I'm thinking about how do I go from 1 to 2? Okay. And from 4 to 6? And from 9 to 12? Okay, so it looks like we could add add 1 for the first one. Right. And then for the second one, we're adding 2. The third one, we're adding 3. And the fourth one, we're adding 4. Okay, so as I said, the fourth one, we're adding 4. So we can start thinking about our rule now. What will happen for the, the nth figure number? Right. If you notice, all these are the same as f. Okay. So it looks like I am going and I'm adding to f squared and adding f. Yep. So let's propose this as our rule. I think what our rule is going to be that d is equal to f squared plus f. Okay. So we still need to, to verify that rule. And we but that's how we've that's how we've worked it out right. to start with. Now it's not always going to be plus f. Sometimes it might be minus f. Sometimes it might be plus a number or minus a number. This yeah. you have to try and find the pattern kind of within this situation. Yeah, it could even be a multiply, couldn't it? In, in there, right. you just have to be you just have to try and figure out what's happened to f squared to get right. d. Okay, so let's verify. Verify. We've got up to four in our table, so we need to look at f equal to five. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I count all those up, I have 30 dots. This is by pattern. Now I have to do it by formula and see if it works. Okay, so always two ways so you can check if they're the same. All right, this is by the pattern. And so now I'm going to look at, I know that f equals 5. So d is going to be 5 squared plus 5, which is 25 plus 5, which is indeed 30. Nice. And so we were able to find the pattern and verify it.